What's up, Fish Tank people? Dustin's Fish Tank bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're not pissed off. In today's video, I'm bringing you my top five most pissed off petite fish. That's right, these fish are small and they're pissed off. Before we get into today's video, I want to tell you why I'm pissed off. The other day, somebody came over to my house. They were looking at my tanks. They were like, hey, I like your tanks, man. I said, thanks. He goes, hey, you should get a shark. You get the f out of here. Nothing will get you kicked out of my house faster than saying, you should get a shark, dude. Which leaves me as a perfect segue to number five most pissed off fish. My number five most pissed off petite fish. I'm talking about the red tailed shark. Well, first of all, I'm pissed off because this fish is called a shark. It's not a shark at all. It's just some fish that goes around with a red tail and a black body that swims around all the other fish and chases them all over the place. I know why this fish is pissed off. It's pissed off because it comes from tributaries of the Mekong River Basin in Thailand. And its natural habitat is being destroyed. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to come home, it's going to go in your aquarium, it's going to destroy and piss off all of your fish. You should get a red-tailed shark, dude. No, you shouldn't. Red-tailed shark, my number five most pissed off petite fish. My number four most pissed off petite fish. I'm talking about the zebra Danio. That's right. As a kid, back in the day, I used to be balling on a budget. For 49 cents, I could pick up a zebra Danio. Then I figured out why. They wanted to unload these pissed off fish. Yeah, these fish are sweet. I love schooling fish. I love cheap fish. But any fish that goes around nipping another fish's fins is a in my book. Sadly, I know why this fish is pissed off. You'd be pissed off too if you found out your family, friends, nephews, nieces, and uncles were all being ejected with pink glowing dye. Zebra Danios, my number four most pissed off petite fish. My number three most pissed off petite aquarium fish. I'm talking about the flame tetra. Back in the day in my 125, I wanted to keep a unique tetra. Based on my previous experience keeping the following tetras, the neon tetra, the rummy nose, the bleeding heart, and the diamond tetra, I figured that the flame tetra would be a peaceful and compatible fish with my home aquarium. No sir. I dropped 20 flame tetras in my old 120 and watched them beat the crap out of each other like the WCW Royal Rumble. I don't understand it. Somebody explain to me in the comments why the Von Rio Tetra, aka the Flame Tetra, aka the most pissed off Tetra I've ever made, is such a All the other Tetras are peaceful. Drop me a comment on why the Von Rio Tetra being so sweet, yet being so pissed off. Von Rio Tetra, my number three most pissed off petite aquarium fish. My number two most pissed off petite aquarium fish, straight from the slums of Shaolin, bringing it to you with the tiger style. We're talking about the tiger barbs. Yes, folks, the tiger barb, the picky fin eating. I first kept these fish back in the day in a 15 gallon aquarium that had green gravel. I admit it, I had colored green gravel. The fish were sweet until they started beating the crap out of everything I tried to put in the tank with them. Worse yet, they actually live a miserable existence as a school, chasing around each other, nipping at each other's fins of the same species. I actually didn't learn my lesson without pissed off tiger barbs were and tried to keep them again here in the 220. All they did was chase around each other and nip at the fins of my rainbows to find the rainbows like, yo dog, these boys got to go. Tiger barbs, tiger style ain't nothing to with. Tiger barbs, my number two most pissed off petite aquarium fish. And my number one most pissed off petite aquarium fish goes like this. A couple years ago, I got convinced to coach my daughter Nola's soccer team. On that soccer team was a kid named Tyler. I don't drink alcohol. Coaching Tyler made me have to drink after the games on Saturdays. All Tyler would ever do would be to chase around kids on the opposing team and our team. I don't think Tyler ever went after the soccer ball once. Tyler is the human equivalent of the Chinese algae eater. First of all, the Chinese algae eater isn't even an algae eater. It's a fish chasing, fin sucking, of a fish. If I was Chinese, I would be pissed off that my country is represented in the name of this fish. Like most fish that suck, the Chinese algae eater is so cheap in the pet stores. It's gonna go and clean all your algae. No, it's gonna go home and suck, and it's gonna go home and suck all the fins off all the other fish in your aquarium. The Chinese algae eater is gonna go into your aquarium and piss your wife off and piss your life off. Do me a favor, folks, hit the subscribe button, like button, share button, whatever button you feel like pushing, and drop me a comment on what aquarium fish pisses you off the most. Tank on, everybody. Later. From this day, from the, yeah, walking. And then, I know, I know, I know, exactly. When you think about it, think about my greenhouse. That's four times the length of my greenhouse. My greenhouse.